3,868 pound, all-wheel drive hybrid strikes you as a curious sequel to the original Bantamweight NSX, you're not alone. As vehicle performance lead engineer Jason Widmer tells it, the initial prospect of a gas-electric NSX caused as much hand-wringing within Honda's hallways as raised eyebrows outside them. In the early days of the new car, NSX mules consistently laid down faster laps without the battery electric assist system that was supposed to make the thing quicker. That was more than five years ago, and the NSX's hybrid electric system is now a fully developed piece of Go Faster kit. The car rolling out of Marysville, Ohio, seamlessly combines two turbochargers, three electric motors, four driven wheels, six cylinders, and nine forward gears to produce bona fide super car performance. That won't make it any less controversial, there are an infinite number of ideas as to what a resurrected NSX should have been. The concept that one out is a rolling test bed for the future of performance technology. You will not find a car in this category in 10 years that won't have electrification. I'm confident on that, Widmer says. So are we. The NSX isn't the first of its kind to mesh electrons and hydrocarbons in the pursuit of speed, but give Acura credit for so rapidly democratizing the technology. Even with a starting price of $157,800, the NSX is hard evidence of the kind of trickle-down economics that actually works. Sacrificing a fraction of the performance and the pure electric driving capability of the 2015 Porsche 918 Spider netted Acura a $700,000 price cut for its mid-engined hero, 